Hey guys, what is up? Rooster here from the FinFM and welcome back to my Football Manager 2016 series called The Finnish Legend. And last time we spoke, uh, we played Fiorentina, which was a really good 0-3 victory away and it was a TV game. And when we spoke in that game and when we spoke after the game, I actually told you that we are going to come back. I home game against Torino which I thought it would be exciting game because Torino was in the mix uh, on the top spots on Serie A but unfortunately shadow play decided to not cooperate with me in that one and which resulted a in my mind very well uh, produced video without any sound so I still have it and I have no aspirations of making silent movies and put the subtitle screens in there. Also the one thing I actually contemplated that maybe if I do a voiceover uh, later on. Uh, but uh, not really comfortable with any of the options and since I had played already the Torino game and I kind of move forward. I made a stupid mistake of not uh, checking out the video right after the Torino game. So there we have it. The game is done, and the actual solution which I came up with that I apologize not showing for you the Torino game, but we are gonna come back on the first knockout match of the knockout leg of. UEFA Europa League so that is something we're gonna do today so you're gonna see me face off Olympiacos in the first leg of UEFA Europa League and knockouts but why don't we go see actually well you can see it on the screen how the Torino game went but we can go see that more in detail now and see some of the other stuff that might have happened uh, in, in, in between <clears throat> So last time uh, we were speaking uh, was the Fiorentina game. Uh, really comfortable 3-0 win away game. And we got goals from Rachi Bonzoli and Eder. Eder scoring at the late stages of the game, which is really good. And after that, we went to see Cita de Palermo. Got goals from Asensio and Milik. Uh, Milik was uh, kind of cold at some point and I was a bit worried about that how it's gonna turn out uh, by the way Milik is now signed with Napoli in real life with a 35 around 35 mil euros so just kind of mixed feelings amongst uh, people about that is he going to be a feasible replacement for Gonzalo Higain that went to Juventus we will see when the league start but let's not get sidetracked there uh, after Palermo game we got four away games in a row we played Empoli uh, Figueras got thrown off in that game even though he still managed to voice a 7.6 average uh, some not so great performances in that game uh, two goals from Asensio so you can see my uh, new uh, acquirement uh, Marcus Asensio has played really really well and unfortunately he is injured so <laughs> things happen then we had a streak of draws uh, Atalanta Bergamo our home game uh, Nothing much happening in the game actually. Uh, they actually went and went ahead in the first half. Brown ED scoring, scoring a 32. And Adam Lalana, my loan from my loan pool, Liverpool, uh, actually came back with a score at the 56. And it was a one all draw. Not too happy about it. Uh, then we played uh, Frosinone Calcio away game again uh, somebody got sent off this one this time it was Nenad Kresetic and we were able to save 1-1 one, one draw in that one also goals from Nixon and Cristiano Biracci scoring then we had a home game against Lazio which uh, we actually dominated uh, in good fashion but 
zero immobile scoring uh, at the later stage 86 minutes and I can pretty much uh, hand out that goal to Viviano because uh, <laughs> I can't see why but he just, he just didn't the, the ball was perfectly uh, catchable it was a floater from outside and just went straight in the middle of the box and Viviano just didn't get it and mobile was there scored the goal 1-1 one, one. really really uh, I was happy about the result because it was so late in the game and which has been uh, one of the issues uh, on my team is we are scoring we are getting scored at the later stages of the game which is not one good thing also the other thing is that Asensio got injured in that game and he is now injured uh, forcing me to, if I use the 4 4 one, one uh, it's forcing me to use Lalana, which is inconsistent in that spot, or just play with the 4 4 2 ver version of the general blast, which I've been using uh, to extend at the moment. And uh, um, after the last year game, we played Internationale away game, and this was. Uh, kind of freak of nature actually if you see we three draws in a row and suddenly we were just scoring from uh, everywhere um goals from Zerucci, Bonazzoli, Milik and Pione Sisto and the thing with Pione Sisto at the moment is that he is playing really really well and he is actually forcing me to not use uh Zerucci. Mm, maybe be the MVP for us the last season but as as you you know progress in the game and as you play multiple seasons you just have to go season by season uh, obviously at the start of the season you if you have played a great last season you get a chance to be the first choice uh, in default but Sisto is just trashing uh, Zeruti on that spot and we will see have to see how this thing plays out because Zeruti is too good uh, too valuable to be a backup or be a just rotational option and if if, if that is the case that I find at towards the end of the season that Sisto is going to be my main guy I probably will have to consider selling Zeruti to somewhere else and replace that uh, spot with someone else because I got a couple other players like Jonas Hoffman who's, who's can play in that position which in all all, uh, all miracles that can happen uh, Jonas Hoffman he's been healthy for the most of the season which is amazing and playing actually quite well after the international game, which you didn't saw when I showed you after the Fiorentina game, I showed you the schedule. We played Torino in Tim Cup semi-final leg one, and the this was the initial game I recorded Torino FC. But we played them in the cup. Uh, uh, two goals from Milik, uh, Pion assisted again, and Eder on the 60th minute, and uh, Del Sesta and Viviani scoring for Torino. That was really good game, and I was really hoping that after that game we could get a good result in the league game, which I felt uh, was more valuable to us because we could, uh, you know, stretch the cushion uh, to Torino. But yeah, that was a really boring one-one draw. Actually, this is the game I recorded. Uh, goals from Milik from penalty, and Parigini scored for Torino. But yeah, like I told you. Shadow play, thank you, and lost the audio of that game. Um, I'm recording to that. I've been using, uh, obviously, I'm not sure if I want to do like the gear video at some point, but if people want, I will do a you know gear video what I use to record and edit and such. But I've been using um, I, uh, OBS for my vlog, but I really um, I didn't like uh, the quality, maybe. Uh, I like the quality that Shadowplay produces and I actually found a fix that should uh, ensure me that there's audio in Shadowplay recordings so I'm still using it but if it fails me one more time um, it, and that's probably the case that I will use 
OBS or go back to using TX Story or whatever. But yeah, this is the situation now. So really, really uh, boring ramblings. Um, actually, <laughs> in the start, but I'm, I'm sorry. I was felt that I really want to explain why we are playing Olympiacos today away game and not seeing the Torino league match. But let's uh, go check our team. What is the case of our team at the moment? And here we are. And a couple guys uh, I want to pick up here and tell something about them. Uh, Rani Kedira, I loaned him away because at the moment I have too much players to be competing for the middle spots. Uh, the only option is when I use the Genoa Plast, I can't remember, it's one uh, number three, where I do have a, a defensive midfielder. Um, that's that's the case, but also a lot of guys can fulfill that role also. So Kedira is loaned out, and we have to see what we're going to do do with in that sense. And oh, obviously Asensio is injured at the moment, uh, two to six days, so... <clears throat> We're really hoping that he will come back to um, the other leg of European competition. He's been really good since he came back. Vasco Regini also injured. So Liebold and Brachi are playing uh, the left back position. Um, three to six days. Uh, not too bad. Uh, Aguilani is pretty much done. <laughs> In our team he's just tutoring because uh, Mihail Ristic is just playing uh, amazingly well he's developing and really look everything is just green here uh, 22 years old uh, he has taken over the midfield he plays the advanced playmaker if I need one he plays the deep playmaker if I need one so and Sasa Lukic is his uh, backup and there's also Turia in there so Agulani is just being the nice uncle that steers the youth uh, towards the great things so to speak um, but obviously I needed to leave some guys out of the Euro squad and what I did is the one I, which I left out is Zambinia I'm not really seeing that much this season and this is because of the fact that I couldn't foresee a couple of things. I couldn't foresee that Emmanuel Mamana is so ready for the Serie A and he has been uh, really good in, in Serie A and and most part of the season he's been uh, really good, really, really consistent. Uh, he has been training some moves. Now he stays back at all times, which is really good. <clears throat> so he has been playing and really good. And that has resulted two things. Uh, Zambinia not playing that much and it's not being used that much. And also Fausto Grillo kind of losing his spot as a main uh, defender alongside Lisandro Lopez. Grillo is good and he's playing good and that but the issue with Grillo is his cards. He's taking just way too many cards and I've been trying to remove the dives into into tackles but yes uh, as with uh, Grillo and as it was with Manolas, uh, I just can't seem to get rid of that dives into tackles. So Grillo is taking a lot of cards. He's taking a lot of cards uh, in, in early stages of the game, which forces me to actually put him on ease of tackles, which, uh, you know, deteriorates his, uh, his uh, ability to defend with tenacity. So that that is uh, sometimes a bad thing the one option could be um to use him uh, with heavy rotation because i really don't want to start selling him i've just bought him last season to replace manolas obviously if you can see his value has uh, risen really good 
so he would definitely be profitable to sell him but we will see but yeah grillo uh really suffers from taking so many cards uh, other than that the team is pretty right where i want it to be uh and as i mentioned before i think some videos that uh figueras actually took over the battle of uh, two wing backs on the right but ring i'm i'm still rotating them uh, so ring gets to play also so yeah and Bonzoli, uh obviously the you know the story of the season i actually wrote wrote a blog post about federico Bonzoli about his season uh, a bit about his history uh, go read it and the Bonzoli has just been amazing 14 goals in syria a4 in uefa champions league can't really ask more for a 20 year old uh, striker uh, he is naturally a target man, uh, but I play him as a complete forward because um, at the moment I really would want to actually come up with a tactic uh, that uses target man, you know, really fast uh, counter tactic, but uh, don't have a feasible partner for him yet. Obviously, I could Put it out in 4411 and use uh, attacking midfielder or shadow striker but i would rather use a target man with a poacher uh, but if i find uh, feasible options for that that could be my uh, main go-to tactic in defensive uh, mindset last uh, next season but we will see okay so i probably just rambled you to almost uh state of unconsciousness so we are what we're gonna do now is we're gonna just head into the game and have some gameplay in this video also not just me talking and you know just being here um obviously you can see one thing is that my face cam is in in different spot because i got really annoyed uh about you not seeing the coach of the other team and the also the other fact is that i'm actually uh going over that if i should use it at all uh, so let me know what you think in the you know in the comments that did you do you want to the face cam to be included uh do you want to want me to change how i include it or what would really help me out because i'm kind of like in between with that myself but let's go see the preview screen and let's go see the starting lineups for today's game away Olympiakos Sampdoria. Okay, so the weather is 6 degrees and gusty and Olympiakos have almost sold out their stadium. Uh, 31,000, 31,500 tickets sold, so really, really good. Uh, Manuel Greife is the referee for the match. Seven red cards, 66 yellow cards this season. And the Olympiacos manager is Marco Silva, 40 years old. And he has been a uh, little less than 1,200 days in the club. So he is really well known around there. They don't seem to have any... Um, Injuries in, in that sense. Well, obviously, there are players unbridged just as do we. But we will just have to see. And since I really, really talked a lot in, in that start of that video, I will not go into that much detail about my plans with the Olympiacos team. So hopefully you can understand that. But I just got a little carried away there. So let's go see the starting lineups. So starting up with today, Olympiacos, they're coming out with 4-2-3-1 wide and it looks like it's quite attacking formation uh, for today's game. So we just have to see how the game starts to play out. And in goal is Roberto, their captain, the back line, Di Marco, Siovas, Albiol and Coke. I guess that's pronounced that. Refreshing Coke. 
at the right back. And midfield, Kasami, Milivojevic is the other center midfield, Dermas Fortunis and Hernani is their attacking midfield core and Simeone is their striker. And starting goal, Diviano for us, and Braci, Lopez, Mamana and Figueras is the back four. Hoffman, Aristides, Crisitis and Sisto is my midfield and Bonazoli and Milik are the, my striking duo to today. I'm going out with my Genoa Blast 4-4-2 uh, which is kind of like, you know, almost fits in every uh, situation tactic at the moment because Asensio is injured so I'm not happy to use my 4-4-1-1 which I devised for this season. So let's have some instructions uh, first. Mm -hmm. So Simeone, Giovanni Simeone is going to be tight marked and closed down, put on his weaker foot. Also, I'm going to do that to Fortunis. Uh, other than that, uh, Dermas is going on his weaker foot. Also, Hernani is going to be on his weaker foot and I'm just going to close down Kasami. And the I will close down Coke because I just love the fact that he's called Coke and not Pepsi. And uh, well, I'm just gonna do that to DeMarco also. So oh, quite a lot of system instructions in the game, and we're just gonna have to see how this will start to unfold. I haven't played against Greek teams in this save, so I really don't know how Olympiacos will come out, we just have to see that with the favorites here, so hmm, let's go with that, come on lads, we're favorites here, come on, you can do it, and we start the match, and Siovas, DiMarco plays it to Jimmy, but that is intercepted by Figueras, Siovas plays it to Roberto, plays it to Albiol, but that's a little highlight. Ristich to Bracci, Bracci is with the ball, tries to play to Hoffman, that that is taken away. Hernandi is clear, shoots, and straight off the bat, three minutes, Hernandi, a really good strike to the far post. And just really good counter attack there. Uh, the guys are just late, and Viviano is not able to get that, so 1-0 to Olympiacos. Okay, throw from Figuera, Sisto with the ball for Tunis, plays it to Jimmy, and plays it to Simeone, but Lisandro is there to gather the ball. And Viviani plays it to Milik, Ristich to Jonas Hoffman, Rachi Hoffman to Ristich to Krisitic, plays it to Milik, plays it to Bonazoli, Bonazoli shoots, and Roberto is able to see that. Okay, Ristich with a corner, that is headed away. Sisto with the ball, plays it to Figueras. Figueras, plays it back to Ristich. Ristich, plays it to Bracci. Ooh, that was a lightning bolt uh, from the box. Bracci just turns around and shoots one into the back corner. That was fast. Ristich with the ball, finds Bracci in some just dance moves there and clips the post and goes to the far corner. Really, really angry shot, actually. Siovas, Di Marco, to Fortunis, to Hernani. Lisandro is there. Bracci plays it to Hoffman. Hoffman plays to Bonazoli. Bonazoli with the ball. Still with the ball. Plays to Crisitis, to Sisto. And Roberto is able to deflect that for a corner. Sisto with a corner. That is headed away. Sisto still with the ball. To Bonazoli. Shoots. And that is just way, way over the bar. Lots of things happening, 11 minutes play. Lissandro is getting a card. DiMarco, Fortunis, Jimmy, to Kasami, to Simeone, to Hernani, still with the ball, going for the middle, and go shoot, tries to shoot from near post. Figueras with the ball, and bad throw. DiMarco, Silva's plays it to Jimmy. St Jimmy is still with the ball. Kasami, Fortunis, Dumilovic. I'm sorry, I can't say that name in fast space. Jimmy, but Figueras is there to take the ball away. Mamana with the ball. Krisitic plays it to Bonzoli, plays it to Milik, and switches to Hoffman. Hoffman still with the ball. Shoots, and Roberto is able to save that. Siovas back to Roberto. Albiol plays it to DiMarco, and pressing is doing his job there. Okay, Miljovic, Coke. 
Milvojevic, I, I just can't say that, sorry. Simeone, Coke, Kasami, back to Coke. Is he gonna cross? Close to Kasami, but Sisto is there to take the ball away, and Bonazzoli is heading towards the corner. Lumilik! Oh, that was fast paced play. Bonazzoli just found Milik in the middle, and that was really close. Sisto keeping a corner, nothing happening. Bridge based back to Sisto. Sisto goes into the middle, and that is blocked away. Bonazzoli and Hernani is able to get the ball. Simeone with the ball, but Lisandro is there to take it away, plays it to Hoffman. Hoffman plays it to Bonzoli, plays it to Milik. Milik shoots, but that is quite ambitious and it's way over the bar. Viviano to Lisandro to Ristich to Hoffman. Plays it to Bonzoli, but that's just too too far ahead. Okay, Mamana. Here's that away. Coke, Albiol to Fortunis to Milo to Kasami. And Simeone tries to play to Hernani. Hernani with the ball. Brachi is there to defend. Kasami to Milo. And Figueras and Jimmy and a good shot and save by Vivian Hernani with the corner that is headed away. Milo with the ball. DeMarco still on. That's the end of highlight. A lot of stuff happening. I mean, 29 minutes played and still a lot of stuff happening. Coke with the ball. Hernani going into the middle, but that shot is just wide. Viviani with the ball. Lisandro to Hoffman. And Hoffman loses the ball. Hoffman has been losing a lot of ball today. So that is something we are going to look closely. Kasami with a shot. And I'm just going to stop here and see that we are extended. And I want to see what Hoffman is doing. Because he's losing a lot of ball. I mean 6.9. But he's really losing a lot of ball at the moment. So we gonna might have to uh, address that in, in the halftime. So... Okay, another yellow for Tunis, Simeone. Mamana is giving the pressure. Coke, Hernani. Coke, Brachi is there. Hernani. And Brachi is giving the pressure. Simeone, Hernani, and he just hits the post. Coke with the ball. Wrist is there. They're headed away. Milo with the ball. Hernani for Tunis, Simeone to Fortunis. And that is a post. Really nice give and go there. Krisitic, Figueras to Milik. To Bonazzoli to Ristic. Plays it to Bracci. Bracci with a cross. Milik is there, but that is saved by Roberto. Okay, Kristic and Milik. To Bonazzoli, but Bonazzoli is offside. Roberto to Coke to Milo to Kasami to Milo to Kasami to Coke Hernani to Simeone plays it to Jimmy and Jimmy shoots and Vivian just pushes that to corner. <clears throat> okay, so halftime. So things uh, we we could actually go and see here. I don't know if you look at the heat map, uh, they're kind of like on our left most of the time. They're playing a lot of stuff uh, through Coke, uh, Milo, and you know Hernanes is, is moving around there. So th mostly they're just going uh, through our left side and coming from there. And if we want to go uh, see some crosses. Uh, try to see it's not not they haven't crossed that many times actually but let's see some passes I'm just gonna take but I, what I'm looking here is a lot of key passes they got a lot of key passes uh, in, in that sense and you also see that the it's coming from our left if you look at the field like this oh, sorry it's our left side, which is the side where Barachi plays at the moment. So a lot of stuff happening there. Not that much uh, on our right. On the key key passes. And let's see some uh, very average positions with the ball. Um, I think, uh, well, it's obviously they look tighter here because they've got that guy here. Really uh, kind of not extremely tight in the middle uh, it's kind of looks like a box box the position they're pretty much yeah you can go look how it looks for us uh, we have a huge cap 
uh, between our you know bit filters and you know the complete forward here but this is the i really want my um dlp to actually go here and help the defense to the middle so that is something i want to do and i'm gonna you know giving that space to them so it's not that bad okay well <laughs> doesn't tell tell us much that uh let's see some uh, passes we have done we have uh, less key passes than olympiacos so we are also you know and uh using their uh, right side we our left side is being uh defended by long and we're also attacking from that side but um, mistakes missed interceptions mm, okay so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go see some Olympiaco stats and Giovanni Simeone is doing really well in the passing department and Fortunis is is there Kasami is doing really good in passing doesn't have any key passes but look at Fortunis key passes six so these guys are something we wanna look closely and Xami is actually getting a treatment here. Uh, actually, there. I really want to start taking a close look at him. And the other thing is that what we're going to do is... Hmm, no, we're not going to go there yet. Not just yet. But what we want to do now, I mean, it's a way game. It's 1-1. One, one, so, yeah. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Milik not playing too well. Nenad Krisitic not playing too well. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to go Genoa plus 3. Uh, Bonazoli is going to take uh, go to play at... Attacking at west forward and Malik is going to be switched to Thomas Delaney uh, and we, Are we gonna give uh, Chrissy Titch the benefit of the doubt for now, but what we're gonna do here is when we're gonna do and go to Delaney and we're gonna mark uh, for Tunis, so we're gonna mark him uh, a bit more tighter because six key passes that's pretty good. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to put Thomas as a defensive midfielder and mark for Tunis and see what that does for us. And obviously we uh, switched uh, to another tactic here. My general plus number three, which is my kind of like defensive tactic. Also, what I want to do, what, what I actually did and talk about before, before the... I'm just going to put him as a stopper. Ease of tackles. Uh, I'm gonna do this to reach the actually with a yellow card. I'm just gonna tell him also to ease off tackles. And obviously we we switch the formations. So Mamana is not doing that. He's gonna be player, ball playing defender with a defensive duty. And Lopez is gonna be stopper. It's gonna move, move this a bit tighter here. So, hmm. Yeah, this is the uh, stuff we're gonna do. Also, we're gonna tell the guys that hey, maybe some encouragement. Okay, we can still come out this match and win tonight, guys. Come on, and I mean one one is not it's not bad uh, in that sense. But I let's see what happens. Rachi with the ball, Jonas Hoffman. Goes to the middle, plays it to Bonzoli. Bonzoli with the ball, plays it to Sisto, but he just loses the ball to Di Marco. VM one with the ball, Mamana plays it to Sisto, Sisto still with the ball, plays it to Krisitic, plays it to, uh, back to Sisto. Is he gonna cross? He's gonna cross, but that is just taken away. Ristic to Rachi to Delaney, plays it to Sisto, Sisto crosses and Bonasoli is there and it was so close, I really don't know what happened. Sisto, Figueras, Burachi to Delaney to Sisto, plays it through to Hoffman, Hoffman with the ball, but that is blocked away and that is a throw in. Okay, Mamana is looking for a card, not a good thing. Uh, they're making substitutions and we're gonna change 
uh, check out what they are doing in that de department uh Yanis Haji is coming uh to the field so yeah we're gonna close him down Let's see what else they have to offer I mean these guys are pretty pretty tired to be actually and what I want to do is I want to tell to tell Mamana that please you need to settle down also so I'm just gonna tell him to ease off with the tackles also like there uh, 61st minute I'm not gonna do any more subs yet so yeah Barachi with the throw Lissandro back to Barachi to Delaney and that is just poor poor pass but Delaney is not uh, really well known from his passing a shot from Haji comfortable save from Viviano okay Figueres with a throw Bonazzoli to Sisto shoots Ooh, that was a surprising shot from Sisto Bonazzoli is offside right there and Rachi is also getting a yellow card so we're getting a lot of cards in this game Fortunis to Haji to Hernani shoots but that is just way way over the bar Jonas Hoffman is offside and now we're gonna look look here again uh players and Barachi I just don't want you to get a card at a later stage of the game and see what we have here we got a lot a lot of tired players uh crazy Titch, uh, Ristich, um <laughs> Lopez uh I'm gonna take Lopez away and Grillo is coming over and we're gonna do what we're gonna do. Brachi is playing an awesome game. Figueras, I'm just gonna take Van Arin away. Two uh, comes to three plays Figueras. Corfin changes. Uh, tell them that hey, I believe in you, which I always do. And see out the game. Ristich with a corner. Uh, Figueras shoots, but that is just. To a different planet still with a guard assist Sisto with the ball plays it back to Ristich Ristich with a cross Bonazzoli Ristich shoots and Roberto is able to save that it's going to continue Kristic plays to Delaney plays it to Van Rijn plays it to Sisto starts to Delaney with the ball Ristich plays it to Van Rijn can he cross yes Sisto shoots and that is blocked away Sisto with a corner floats it in that's headed away Hagi, Haji with the ball and just plays it towards the corner and Grillo is there to get the ball Hoffman and bad pass which is intercepted I really don't like those uh, gives a great transition to other team but Stalker is not able to actually capitalize that uh, Van Rijn with the ball to Bonazzoli and he just loses the ball. Albiel plays to Roberto, Krisitic, Fortunis, Bracci and guys are maybe a bit too eagerly going for the ball uh, having yellow cards. Hernani but Mamana is there to take it away and Bonazzoli and that is a full time kind of uh, a sweet irony here because the, the game I recorded against Torino that was also a 1-1 tie but I I have to be happy with this result uh, again, it, obviously I think Olympiacos uh, would, would be considered as inferior team to us but uh, going to Greece playing in their home stadium uh, knockout round game 1-1 result is good for us uh, it gave us the away goal and we can try to you know put this down in, in a home game in a couple of days so it's really good result in my book obviously i would have wanted a win in a sense that i i think we kind of like controlled the game we can see that now uh shots 19 uh, on target nine they got six mm, really good off target six blocked shots for clear cut chances they actually got one more uh, but possession is was on olympiaco's side because you know those tactics which i use are not particularly uh possession based uh they're pressing tactics I'm not trying to keep possession maybe that much get a huge lot of the corners uh fouls went 
uh, in, in, in even fashion passes, they, they had really good passing, like 83. Uh, we got 77, 358 passes completed. I mean, that's not bad, but ooh, they actually played really good. Um, tackles won 76%, uh, headers uh, 61. They may actually did a better in there, but this, what I really don't like is four yellow cards in this game because, you know, it... it it can follow us to the later stages of UEFA Europa League if we can advance from the next leg, next uh, stage of the leg or the next game against Olympiacos. But yeah, but let us go see what is in store next for us in this Finnish Legend series. So if we are here, uh, Olympiacos 1-1. One, one. And we're gonna see, because I don't want, uh, this was like a huge cap uh, last time, a huge amount of games in between. And uh, I really don't want uh, to have that much of a gap between games. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back in Torino game. Team Cup semi-final leg two because I really promised the Torino game and we're gonna see Torino uh, eventually. So we're gonna come back uh, Wednesday, uh, 28th of February, 2018. We're gonna come back and see Torino away game, TV game, Team Cup semi-final leg two. And until that, stay safe and I'll catch you guys the next time.